Welcome back to The Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to send read receipts when sending an email. What a read receipt will do is it will let you know when the recipient has read the email before they've even responded. This can be very helpful for if you're sending an email on a Friday and want to know if the recipient has had a chance to look at it over the weekend, or if you just like to stay organized and see which of your emails are getting read and which ones are getting ignored. So what you'll do is you'll go to compose an email, type in a recipient, and then this little arrow, more options in the bottom right, you'll select, then you'll click request read receipt. We'll fill out the rest of the email. And then we'll press send. So this email will look a little bit different. If we look in our sent mail at this email, we'll see that we'll say, you requested read receipts for this message. So now let's take a look over at Jim's inbox, and we'll read this email, and we'll see what it looks like on Dwight's side. Dwight is who we sent this email from. So it looks like we can already see that the message was received. We get an email notifying us that the message was received. And then... Here's Jim's profile. Here's the email. We haven't read it yet. And if we click into it and read it and then click out, it pops up with an option that says send receipts or not now. So we click send receipts. It'll show that this message was read. And Dwight will get a message saying, Jim Halpert read your message at 8.30 a.m. And for those of you who don't see the option to request a read receipt under the More tab, it is possible that your admin has not enabled this feature. So if you're an admin, watch closely because this is how you turn on the read receipts for the users on your domain. So we'll go into the Admin Console. And once in the Google Admin Console, we'll go to Apps, Google Apps, and then we'll go into Gmail and we'll scroll down and in advanced settings click in there and we will scroll down to email read receipts so you may have this option checked as do not allow email read receipts to be sent or you may have one of these other options so what I had turned on there was allow email read receipts to be sent and prompt the user for each read, re read receipt request. So I had to turn on just for the users on in my organization. So it would just be intra-organization emails would have the read receipt option. And I also checked this box, prompt the user for each read receipt request. That was that pop-up that said, do you want to send a receipt or not? If I don't have this checked, then as soon as Jim opened the email, he wouldn't have gotten any option. It would have just told Dwight immediately that he had read it. He wouldn't have had the option to maybe pretend like he hadn't read it, so to speak. And then there's also this option to allow email read receipts to be sent to any email address. This would include outside the domain. So these are your options in the admin console to turn this on. And it takes a few minutes to activate, but I think it's a pretty useful feature. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you and have a great day.